Hey everyone, it's Eric here from i525XL. Today is Friday, March the 29th. It is Good Friday, uh, Easter weekend. We have today off, so just taking a chill day. Went and met some folks for breakfast, some family for breakfast today, so that was cool. Uh, looking at the seahorse tank right now, everything's fine. You can see the uh, frostbite flipping around here. He's doing well. Uh, big appetite. And the seahorses are doing great as well. Feeding them both uh, twice a day uh, in the afternoon and in the evening. So nothing in the morning because the lights don't really go on until about 10 o'clock. So seeing some uh, encrustment from the corals down onto the seashell there, which is great. Also onto the plug. Uh, I did have this coral up on a rock right here. But that green hairy tip mushroom was taken over it. And uh, I could see I was getting a lot of white on the bottom of the coral. So I moved it. This no namer uh, acro uh, getting some growth too as well. You can see the white tips in a few spots. So everything seems to be doing quite well in this tank. Again, it's stable, not dosing a lot. I am putting in five mils of off reef every day, uh, but that's about it. So and everything seems to be doing great. Over to oh, a quick view on the 3D printouts. Now I have you can see I installed some lights on uh, Rogue here, but I printed Rogue off the other day. Installed those lights and hooked it up to a um, power supply. She came out pretty good. My paint job needs a bit of work, but um, anyway, she's keeping the Hulk and uh, Iron Man company. And I'm trying to figure out what my next part is. Just... Anyway, back to the tanks. <clears throat> Over here on the 525, tank is running stable. Uh, everything is actually pretty cool. Um, the fish knocked off, I think that's the forest fire there, um, oops, sorry. They knocked that off a couple of days ago, and it comes right off, like the plug comes off the glue. So they're hitting it hard, and I'm surprised the coral's not breaking. But, um, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're playing tag or whatever the case is, but I had to stick my hands in there and glue it back on the other day. Uh, corals themselves are looking pretty good. Uh, you can see the sweeper tentacles out a bit there on the uh, Space Invader. The banana locani, I'm going to try and post some pictures as I talk about them here. Uh, hopefully I can find some good ones. Just on the growth, because I'm seeing some decent growth on a lot of these corals now. Um, the locani really seems to like this spot since I put it over, which is good. Um, the no-namer up there is just, that thing grows like crazy. I keep breaking pieces off and putting them elsewhere, and it just keeps growing back, which is cool. Um, the pistachio coral is actually looking really well just behind that uh, blue chromos there. Um, it's really getting thicker, I noticed, which is good. See the birds of paradise is just growing like crazy. I know they are fast growers, but I'm shocked on how fast it grows. And then uh, this, the shortcake there is actually doing pretty good. Uh, it's got some more encrustment down on the rock, uh, but also got some more branches on there. So looking pretty good too. I can see the uh, fire gooby out there. He doesn't come out usually unless there's food. <clears throat> um, Recordias are spreading all over the place, which is fine. Pretty happy with that. You can see the zoas are now growing here too. There was just one or two on the rock before. Um, torch is great. <clears throat> you can see a lot of encrustment here on these new corals, which is fantastic. Um, but I see a lot of growth on that guy just over here in the corner. Uh, I think that's the cherry pop. He's really he encrusted down and now he's branching out, which is great. Um, again, I'll try and find some photos to compare to. So hopefully I can have those in here. And you can see Azoa's here doing great. Got little pieces spreading out. So overall, this tank, I don't know, it's just uh, doing really well. I don't want to jinx it. <clears throat> Everything's stable. Still dosing all for even magnesium and potassium. Um, I actually haven't changed the amounts on there, so it seems to like what I'm doing, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Down below, <clears throat> my reef mat is uh, almost at the bottom, so I'm going to have to replace that soon. I'll post a usage graph here. Um, as you can see, I'm, it's about 10 inches a day, roughly, that it uses up. <clears throat> and obviously, when I clean the glass and stuff, uh, it's a little more because it's catching more stuff and sensor trips because the water level rises. Um, but yeah, it works really, I'm really happy with it. I think I've mentioned it before. It's probably one of the better uh, upgrades that I've done. The um, 
<clears throat> excuse me, I had a cold all the week this week, sore throat. Um, the ATDO by Red Sea is really working well. Here's a usage graph as well. Um, you can see it's about two gallons a day that I'm uh, replenishing. So that means I'm losing two gallons a day through evaporation, which I, I think is about average anyway. Um, but I mean, if your house is warmer, then it's gonna be a little warm, uh, higher too. So um, <clears throat> but yeah, very consistent. And I really like that unit too. It's quiet. I'm not knocking Tunzi, I just prefer this one. Um, yeah, I just preference, I prefer this one over the Tunzi. Skimmer's working great. Uh, I think it's getting time to empty that collection cup. Um, I think I empty it about every four weeks or so. Uh, so it's probably just about due, but that thing's been working great since I put it in. That's the uh, Max Jet Duel. Works like a charm. So anyway, that's it for the tank for me today. Uh, questions and comments, just leave them down below. Always love to hear from you guys. And um, yeah, until we chat again, stay safe. Happy reefing.